organized crime. And I was always surprised by that. Was that more of a way for the guys to say, you know, I made my money, the government's cracking down, let me just sell out and get a check? Or did they sell to waste management? But I heard some kept their routes. I was never totally understanding the whole waste management thing. It was kind of murky to me, to be honest with you. To give you a little schooling, right? In, yeah. in the city of New York, in the five boroughs right now, after the Waste Trade Act came during the Rudy Giuliana era, you cannot have a conviction and own or associate with a trash company. Really? So, yes, they may filter their money downstream, but on paper, you have to be squeaky clean to be in the trash and recycling business in New York. Now, waste management, as we all know, to your viewers, everybody must know, they are a Fortune 500 company. Correct. And New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. So, I mean, they gobbled up all the players at the right time. And also, Tom, uh, another company was uh, BFI when they yes. put this thing away. So, let's just say the World Trade Centers. It was like, I think it was like a 1.2 million contract a month to empty their track. And you, obviously, it was bid rigging going on Correct. between companies that it was like a cartel. So, when down on the garbage industry, BFI comes in and takes it. They kick the mobsters out. And the BFI was like, I think they were out of Texas, but it was, they said government supposedly involved somehow or whatever. So it went from 1.2 million a month when BFI got in there, I think it was like 250,000 a month, right? Now the mafia is out of it, let's say, right? Yeah. Fast forward three years later, they were back up higher than the mafia prices were. That's right. So they're, you know, they kicked the mob out and then they became worse than the mob. And they monopolized. They took and it they over took as a monopoly. Wow. Yeah. But I always wonder what happens to industries after you get the mob out because there's always been, um, there's always been, um, you know, kind of like, oh, you get the mob out, prices will lower. But Anthony's right. It lowers for a little bit and then corporate greed kicks in and they want to pay more and they don't do necessarily a better job either. You know what I mean? Uh, you, yeah, go, go ahead. Elaborate on one thing. There's only about three or four major players in the United States. For trash hauling, right? Waste management. There's Republic. There's BFI. And I can't even think of another large group that yeah. companies are on the New York Stock Board. Correct. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's like an oligarchy. Um, so, so, so Anthony, so kind of when, when after the, you know, trash hauling, that kind of stuff, and we, would you hold court in Mount Carmel? Was that your headquarters or did you have another kind of home base when you were on the street? So it was funny cause me and Frank were, uh, talking about that and <laughs> never my headquarters at all. It was a place that I, uh, frequented, frequented in and, uh, we're filming in here. Uh, we're filming in here. And uh, we'd come. I love it. So we would come in here, and uh, this was like a place that, like I said, it was the majority were the majority were legitimate Italian uh, immigrants. They wanted to get away from their wives at night that drive them nuts, come and play a little cards and have a little drink. And there was some mobster. You know, I think the only made guy that used to come in here to be honest was bruno yeah. you know back yeah, in the I day. Do, yeah. you know and then he had his associates like say i was an associate or at the time on whatever but and i came it things like that but like it was a it, it, this was not a mob social club so i just that i want to get that through to you frank is the president helped help right when i say that absolutely right absolutely. so the mob tom had social clubs here back in the day yeah Tunes we had, we had Big No Sam had a club, but like for instance, like me, I would have this would be a a hangout of mine. I would say across the street, my in laws had the uh, zones, zones, yeah. the sausage place. Yeah. That was headquarters for me. Then this, because I used to go upstairs and have meetings and eat, and I could look out the window. And so to me, that was more uh, the cigar I went to, uh, restaurants that I went to were more headquarters not headquarters but uh 
meeting spots that I would meet people in different areas of the city, different sections, West Springfield, all over the suburbs of our area. So yeah, this was a, uh, it was a place to socialize. So if you had a meeting there, it, you know, you would meet them here, but to say that it was,